Hey guys, welcome to Set Me Online. We're going to try and get a couple of experiments done. I'm going to try and give you one at least every week so that you can do some fun things at home. Today we're going to do two things about the water cycle so you can do some small water cycle projects in your kitchen. So you all know the water cycle. Um, the sun heats the water. Um, when it heats the water, the water begins to evaporate and goes into the clouds where the clouds make condensation. Once the condensation gets too heavy, it precipitates and rains down and falls on the land or falls back into the water. And we all know that up here it is very cold and that when it goes up into the clouds, depending on your air temperature, it can either snow or rain or frost, any of those things. So we're going to make rain in a bag first. Very simple. All you have to do is get a Ziploc bag and I drew the water cycle on it. You can do the sun and the clouds. Make a water line and you are just going to pour some water into the bag. Up to the mark. I did it up to the mark, Colin. Yeah, about up to the mark. And you close it. Blow a little air into it. If you want to, you can use a straw to blow some air into it. Put a little duct tape on it, and then you're gonna stick it in a window. Now, why would you stick it in a window? Think about it. So, why do you think, Colin? It didn't rain. Like yeah, because you need the sun to heat up the water so it can go into the air and then rain down. So, Colin, would you stick this in our window? Okay. The door window? The door window. So, Colin's going to stick it in our window. And as the sun hits it, it, give it a couple of days, it's going to start to condensate into your bag and it will have little droplets of water all in it, just like a cloud. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create rain in a jar. So you need to pick a jar, um, probably a vase, like I'm going to use, or you can get a spaghetti jar, a mason jar, um, any type of jar that you want to, but this is an experiment that you're gonna have to have an adult with. So you're using glass and hot water, so an adult in your house has to help you, okay? So we have our jar, and then I'm heating up some water. So you need a jar, a glass plate, and some ice. So here's my plate, here's my jar, and I'm waiting for my water to get real hot. So once we get this, we will have warm water like you have on the ground, and like it's heated by the sun. And then this will act as our cloud, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put our ice on our plate to make the water, or to make the air, okay? Get our plate nice and cold. I have our hot water. like when our hot air goes into our cold atmosphere and it will begin to condensate at the top and you can see how it's starting to run down the side of the jar so it'll do this at first and start to run down as it builds up And then, 
After a little bit, when you lift up your plate, there'll be little water droplets that are coming off the top. See, there's more coming down on this side. So it's raining inside your jar. So you pretty much just created a cloud right here inside your jar. And at the top of this plate, it's starting to get little droplets too. And you can even see some of the smoke that it's causing. So the longer you have it on here, oh, there's a big drop, the longer it will sit. Okay, the more we, as the weeks go by, we'll get some more things. You can also do some of your own experiments that we've done before. You can definitely do penny boats at your house, tin foil and pennies. You can do it in the bathtub or you can do it in your sink. Can't wait to see what you come up with. I want to see some of your pictures of your um, Ziploc bags hanging on your windows. And I'll see you later. Thanks, me guys. Bye. Bye.